tonight. We are learning more about the violent past of the man who was fatally shot by an officer. A man SPD told us was armed when he tried to run from, then was tackled and fought with officers. KSLA News 12's Tamer Knight reports. The rally for justice continues after the officer involved shooting that claimed the life of 33 year old Joseph Dwayne Taylor. The theme of today's protest was justice or justification as several gathered at government plaza demanding accountability. That was the wrong thing to do. They should never did it. They should have asked for his license and his driving license first before they even shot him. Taylor was gunned down after a routine traffic stop the night of April 23rd that led to a three to one struggle with Shreveport police. Police say Taylor was armed. KSLA was able to obtain Taylor's court records that indicates Taylor had two large pending cases with the cattle courts. Also, he has previous arrests for numerous other felonies, including carrying a concealed weapon by a convicted felon. Y'all paint criminal. He was a father. He took care of his kids. He took care of his woman. I don't what what, what who hasn't made a mistake? Who hasn't fallen victim? I'm standing here right now and I've made mistakes in my life too. And I'm 33 and I haven't been arrested since. That doesn't make me who I am because of the record I hold. Taylor's family say they won't stop rallying until they learn the initial cause of the traffic stop, obtain body camera footage, hear from the Shreveport Mayor Tom Arsenault, Shreveport Police Chief Wayne Smith, and the officers involved are held accountable. I want them to prosecute the three officers that murdered my son. I want them in jail to date without a job. No, nothing. ASLA has continuously reached out to Louisiana State Police, Shreveport Police Department, city officials, and have not been able to obtain any new updates. In Shreveport, Tamara Knight, KSLA News 12.